So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually do these at the end of the week. So that way you guys are aware of what is going to be out this week for Eververse, 801, and Xur. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you pick some of these up. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first one's going to be the Sato Tribe Shader. This is a dope shader. Highly suggest you guys pick this shader up because it's one of the better blue shaders out there. Uh, I did get the, all of the armor for the seasonal pass. Finally, I will be making a review soon. Hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have it out. But yeah, definitely pick out the Sato Tribe shader. We have the Echoes of Io Warren. This is a pretty good shader. Also a shader that really hasn't been sold outside of, I think, last season because Echoes of Io, specifically the Warren sets, have never been sold, at least to my knowledge. And then last but not least, War Called Scheme, which I actually really like this one. Has a really cool uh, almost orange gold, very yellow orange gold. I really like that. Um, but the blue and white is also really, really cool and purple purple blue i don't know it's purple blue i don't know it's a good shader is all i'm trying to say and then for the armor set it's going to be the frumia set for the hunters and for the titans and warlocks it's their own specific or class specific sets uh it's from vanilla destiny 2 it's a really really old set so i would suggest it just to have it just because again you don't really see a lot of armors that have the destiny 2 insignia or the logo because again we don't have a lot of those armors in the game a lot of the armor has came back but this one specifically I mean, it's here now, but it's just to showcase like how old this armor set is. So I definitely would suggest it. And I think everyone ate really well. I think the Warlocks, I think I hyped the Warlocks a little too much because I like once I started editing the video, I was like, mm, the Warlocks one's not that great. But the Titans one is super dope and the Hunters is super dope as well. So definitely pick at least those two up. As for Zer, he's in the hangar in the tower. He's currently selling the Titan armor set. This is a really good armor set for just your subnautical sets, which is funny because it's from the Titan uh, planet set, which is that's why it's funny because it's from this season as well. But it's also good for like a astronaut set as well. I personally would make a astronaut or a like subnautica type thing. That's what I would do just because that would be really, really cool. And the for the Titan specifically, the boots are like my favorite boots if I'm going for like a casual set again. All of the pieces are really, really good. I'm going to assume the Warlocks is really good as well, because at least the helmet, I know I like the helmet a lot. Other than that, everything else was pretty forgettable. To be fair, a lot of these pieces share a lot of uh, similarities. If you guys want to keep watching the armor, just go back a little. We're going to switch out with the armor real quick um, to showcase this real quick. The Titan set, it takes a lot from, or I should say the eververse set for from warmind takes a lot of inspiration from the titan set which i'll show you guys right now if i can find it yeah it's right here so it's mostly like the boots and some of the other stuff especially for the titans and warlocks you guys will see little similarities similarities here and there but you can definitely combine the qua stuff with the titan set and it's going to be really really cool because it's just going to pair really well together as for the weapons it's going to be the peace of mind with pepper perpetual motion and morpal weapon i mean i would pick this up just to get the uh the red border thing because this one's really good and i would just um make my own uh disparity same thing rapid hit De desperado which is interesting desperado to get a nerf so it's not as good as it used to be but i mean i know people are still probably going to pick this up in case desperado gets a buff uh no no reprieve i'm going to ignore that hall of words under pressure backup plan for precision i don't know if that's good i don't know last man standing which is literally the shotgun that we got this season that's funny that okay interesting we have a sail spy pitch glass with rapid hit and bolt shot this is the this is the role that i wanted from mine just because of bolt shot and then we have night watch with outlaw and rampage which i definitely would pick this one up this is your main bread and butter pick that almost every gun will be really good with outlaw making your weapon reload faster and then rampage you just get more damage and then with a range mod it's pretty good it's pretty good uh for the exotics it's gonna be snapshot sites for hawk moon and dead man's tail for outlaw i would pick the hawk moon up just because i like snap snapshot sites and for the other stuff it's gonna be hard light no wonder i was watching i was seeing so many hard light users in crucible today Sealed Ahamkara with pretty shitty rolls. Acting War Rig, I would pick this one up because Acting War Rig with a with an auto rifle is just fucking foul. Uh, it's kind of like the whole point, auto rifle or machine gun. And then I have another world, which is pretty wow. Look at those stats. I'm gonna pick that up for my warlock. Jesus, that is really good because 
I'm most likely gonna just bump up the recovery to get a 23 because then at that point you're getting a 20 20 yeah 20 25 and then 21 and then a 12 that's pretty good yeah I'm definitely happy I'm picking that up and let's see what I'm picking up here real quick wins invest oh man I'm just gonna immediately uh, that's a one on pretty much all the stuff I care about, but unfortunately Gwinzen is just like trashed here, which is why I'm like, I'll keep it just in case they rework it because I definitely think it's straight up doo-doo butter, but that's pretty much it for Zer. Let's actually check Eververse before I forget. For Eververse, it is a stacked week. Oh my God. It has the empirical imperative shader, which I actually like. I like the shader quite a bit. Not so much the yellow, but the other colors, the blue and the like the really dark chrome black, I think look really cool. This is the other off color as well. The green, which is okay. Definitely pick this one up because if you find an armor set that just holds the blue and the chrome black, it's going to do wonders. I swear it's going to look super dope. And then we have Erobos Glance, which as you guys can see, this already looks dope with it. Oh my God, actually. The edges, like the, the sharp edges have like a, almost like a ocean vibe to it. I cannot wait to review this armor set because I do think it's cool. Um, just super extra. We have uh, Lattice Entrance. We have Sweeper Simulant and All Done sh uh, Emo. And then for the bottom stuff, we have the Nexus Sunrise Ornament. I'm not going to pick this one up just because I don't like this glaive. To be fair, I'm not a fan of glaives to begin with. So that it is what it is. Outwit ornament for the outlast definitely get this because it's super super cool totally forgot I can move this even though I was just doing it with the exotic um yeah it's super dope we have the war torn peregrine which I can be honest I don't really care about this we have the decadent shell which gives me uh warhammer 40k vibes uh cherubic and rising dawn as for the shaders we have amethyst veil which is a really good black shader it's a good black and chrome shader if you want to Go for that look it also looks really cool with this armor set because it has the chrome but also have has the black but it also has that cool purple like wave form. yeah that was super cool i would definitely pick that up sunrise warrior which is a good pink definitely pick this up if you're going for a pink look 44 steel which is a damn that looks cool like as a, like the armor set not so much the, the cape i would probably just switch that to like a full black but this looks super dope and then a celestial dome which man, it looks good i think this armor just shaders really fucking well because it's doing it's doing work man Hot, like it's such a contrast to the dungeon armor which i cannot wait to review that armor because people are gonna get mad because people are like people are correctly saying that the armor set is fucking cool but it shaders terribly and i cannot wait to point that out so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up again remember this is the last week for a, a few of these things not ever you, you we will most likely see imperative empirical imperative Erebos glance uh, amethyst veil we'll most likely see those return but when they will return i cannot tell you so if you want to get something pick it up right now it's only 300 byte dust for one of the best blacks in the game right now uh yeah i've already made a review for Erebos glance like i again i will have it up right here so you guys can check it out because I do think it's important that you guys check that video out because it it's not full black. It's not it's not a true super black, but it's the best super black we have currently. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.